Hello, this lecture we will find the area of the green square. In the drawing we have two squares, the green square, square ABCD, and we also have the smaller square, square EFGD, and we know that the area of the small square equals to 8 square units. Okay, so the area of the small square equals to 8 square units and uh, we also know that uh, AC equals to FC or the diagonal AC equals to FC and uh, we want to find out the area of the green square, square ABCD. Okay, so first of all we know that uh, in any square all its angles are equal to 90 degrees, they are all right angles. For that reason this angle is one of the squares angle, angle FED is a right angle and uh, therefore triangle EFC is a right triangle because he has one angle that is equal to 90 degrees and uh, also all the angles all the inside angles of uh, square ABCD are equal to 90 degrees, they are right angles for that reason angle ADC is a right angle therefore triangle ADC is a right triangle ok so we will relate uh, to triangle the right triangle, triangle EFC. Okay, so in the right triangle EFC, because of the fact the triangle EFC is a right triangle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem in the right triangle EFC. According to the Pythagorean theorem, the square of the hypotenuse equals to the sum of the squares of the perpendiculars. That is to say, FC square equals to EF square plus EC square. That is according to the Pythagorean, Pythagorean theorem. So, in the right triangle EFC, according to the Pythagorean theorem, the square of the square of the hypotenuse that is actually FC square equals to the sum of the squares 
of the perpendiculars. So FC square equals to EF square plus EC square. Again, in the right triangle EFC, the square of the hypotenuse that is FC square equals to the sum of the squares of the perpendiculars equals to EF square plus EC square. Okay, but uh, according to what is given us in the question, AC equals to FC, FC equals to AC, so we can substitute FC by AC because AC equals to FC. So we can write down that AC square equals to EF square plus EC square. Okay, we actually substituted FC by AC because FC equals to AC. AC equals to FC. Okay, AC equals to FC, so we can substitute AC by FC. Okay, in the next step, we will define ED as B, so EF also will be equal to B, and we will define DC as A, that is to say DC equals to A, and BC also equals to A, because all the sides of a square are equal to each other. Okay, so we got the equality that states that AC square equals to EF square plus EC square. Okay, but what is the value of AC? AC is actually the hypotenuse in the green triangle, triangle ADC. Again, AC is the hypotenuse in the green triangle, triangle ADC. Therefore, AC square, according to the Pythagorean theorem, equals to AD square plus DC square. Again, AC square in triangle, the right triangle, triangle ADC. In the right triangle, triangle ADC. AC square equals to AD square plus DC square. Again, in the right triangle, right green triangle, triangle ADC, the square of the hypotenuse that is AC square equals to AD square plus DC square, that is the sum of the squares of the perpendiculars. AD is perpendicular of triangle ADC, and DC also is perpendicular to, of triangle ADC. But we know that AD also equals to A because all the sides of uh, all the sides of uh, uh, square are equal to each other. Okay, so AD equals to A and DC also equals to A. So AD square is actually A square. And this C square is also A square. So actually, we got the equality that states that AC square equals to 
a square plus a square, that is actually 2 times a square. times a square okay a c square equals to two times a square so here we have the equality that states that a c square equals to e f square plus e c square but we know that a c square equals to 2 times a square so we can substitute a c square in this equation by 2 times a square because they are equal to each other and then I will write the equality that states that a c square equals to e f square plus e c square okay I copied this equality to here a c square equals to e f square plus e c square but we know that we found out that a c square equals to 2 times a square so we can substitute a c square by 2 times a square ok so we will substitute a c square by 2 times a square it is actually 2 times a 2 times a square without the brackets and uh, what is the value of EF? EF equals to B according to our definition EF equals to B so EF square is B, B square and what is the value of EC? The value of EC is actually B plus A. Okay, again, EC equals to B plus A. So EC square is B plus A square. So we got the following equality that states that 2 times a square equals to b square plus b plus a square b plus a square is actually b square plus a square plus 2 times a b plus b square equals to 2 times a square I simply opened the brackets in this expression b plus a square equals to b square plus a square plus 2 times a b so here we can subtract a square from this equality so 2 a square minus a square is a square equals to b square plus b uh, b square plus b square equals to 2b square and uh, a square is cancelled because we actually subtracted a square from this equality so 2 times a square minus a square is a square and here a square minus a square is 0 so here what is left is 2 times b square plus 2 times a b so 
here we will subtract two times a b from this equality so we will get that a square minus two times a b equals to 2b square here we will subtract 2b square from this equality we will get that a square minus 2 times b a 2 times a b and 2 times b a is the same minus 2 times b square equals to 0 so actually here we will relate to a as a variable and we will relate to b as a constant so in general, if you have a quadratic equation, of a times x squared plus b times x plus c, equals to zero then the solution to this quadratic equation is uh, x equals to minus b plus minus root of b square minus two times a times c over 2a okay so actually if we have a quadratic equation the solution to this equation is this equality so actually as I have already told you we relate to to a as the variable so actually here x equals to a the variable is x so x equals to a and uh, a capital A In this equality is actually one capital B in this equality is minus two B and the capital C in this equality is minus 2b squared okay so those are the variables of our quadratic equation and we will solve we will solve this quadratic equation according to this formula when x is a capital A is 1, capital B is minus 2B, and capital C is minus 2B squared. So, X is actually A, A equals to minus B, minus B equals to minus 2 small b,
plus minus root of b square b equals to minus 2b so b square is minus 2b square minus 4a a is 1 so it is minus 4 times 1 times capital C capital C is minus 2b square all over 2 times here is capital A 2 times capital A is 2 times 1, 2 times 1 is 2. So in total we got that our variable that is A equals to, here we have actually B equals to minus 2B and in the original equation we have minus b so it is minus minus 2b okay and the minus minus is plus so we have here a equals to minus minus 2b is 2b because minus times minus is plus so here we have a that equals to 2b Okay, again, minus times minus is plus, so minus minus 2b is plus 2b, plus minus root of minus 2b square is 4b square, minus uh, 4 times 1 is 4 and uh, minus 4 times minus 2 is 8 so in total we got here minus times minus is, is plus so in total we got here 4b square ok uh, uh, 4 times 2 is 8 so it is 8b square over 2 ok so actually uh, we got this equality that states that 2b plus minus a, that is the variable, has two solutions. A equals to plus minus the root of 4b square plus 8b square is actually 12b square. So I write it down. In total, we got that A equals to 2b plus minus the root of 4b square plus 8 b square is 12 b square over 2 and that is equal a equals to 2 b plus minus 12 is 4 times 3 I write it down it is 4 times 3 b square over 2 so a equals to 2b plus minus the root of 4 is 2 times root 3 b square over 2 so here we can divide this equality by 2 And we will get that
a equals to b plus minus I forgot it you have to put the minus it is a equals to 2 uh, b 2 b over 2 is b and here we divide it by 2 so what is left is root of 3b square is root 3b okay so actually we have two solutions for a a equals to b plus minus root 3 times b so the first solution is a equals to b plus root 3 b that is the first solution and the second solution is that a equals to b minus root 3 b but this solution is not correct because b minus root 3 b is a negative uh, it is a negative number because b is positive I can show you that if we will take a common factor b if we will take out a common factor b out of this expression we will get b 1 minus root 3 and 1 minus root 3 is a negative times b that is positive it is a negative number so this statement states that a is a negative number a negative and uh, it is impossible because a and b are sides of a squares and uh, they must be positive positive okay a and b are sides of a squares of squares and uh, A and B are sides of squares and they must be positive therefore it is impossible that A is negative so this is incorrect okay this is incorrect because A cannot be negative number it must be a positive number because it is a side of a square that must be a positive number so the only answer that we have is that a equals to b plus root 3 b okay so actually that is the only answer that is left a equals to b plus root b plus root 3 times b here we'll take a common factor b out of this equality and we will get that a equals to b is a common factor inside the brackets we will have 1 plus root 3 okay a we took a common factor b 
out of this expression is we have that a equals to b times 1 plus root 3. So we know according to what is given us in the question, the area of square, the small square EFGD equals to 8 square units. So what is the area of any square? The area of any square is the square of its sides, yes? The area of this square is B times B. And it is given us in the question that the area of this square that equals to B times B equals to 8 square units, okay? So we know that B square equals to 8 square units, it is given us in the question. It equals to 8 square units. So here in this equality, we will square this equality. Okay, we will square this equality and we will get uh, that a square, a square equals to b square plus uh, b square times uh, 1 plus root 3 square. Okay, we squared this equality and we got that here in this side of the equation is a square in the other side of the equation after we square it we got b square and 1 plus root 3 square 1 plus root 3 square is actually 1 plus 3 plus 2 times root 3 or times b square equals to a square Okay, 1 plus 3 is 4, see, so a square equals to b square times 4 plus 2 root 3. Okay, but we got this equality that 1 plus 3 is 4, so in total, we got that a square equals to b square. In the brackets, we have 4 plus 2 times root 3. But we know that b equals b square equals to 8 square units. So we can substitute b square by 8. And we will get that a square, that is the area that we want to find out, the area of the big square, square a, b, c, d. It is actually equals to b square is 8 square units times 4 plus 2 times root 3. Okay, so the area of the big square, the big green square, square a, b, c, d equals to a, 8 times 4 plus 2 root 3. Okay, 8 times 4 is 32, so a square equals to 32 plus 8 times 2 is 16 times root 3. So in total, we got that the area of the green square equals to 32 plus 16 times root 3 square units. So, in terms of numbers, the area of the green square 
equals to Fifty-seven point uh, one minute. Calculated. Uh, it equals to thirty-two plus sixteen times root three is fifty-nine fifty-nine point seven one three. Square units. Again, the area of this green square equals to fifty nine point seven one three square units in terms of numbers, or we can also say that the area of this green square equals to 32 plus 16 times root 3 square units. Okay, now I will summarize the lecture. Actually, we wanted to find out the area of the this green square. We have in the drawing a small square, square E, F, G, E, D, is a square that its area is eight square units and we want to find out the area of the green square square a b c d and we also know that a c equals to f c it is given us in the question okay and we want to find out the area of the green square Okay, so we know that uh, all the inside angles of a square are right angles. So this is a right angle and this is also a right angle. So because of the fact that this is a right angle, triangle FEC, triangle FEC is a right triangle and also triangle the green triangle, triangle ADC, is also a right triangle because it has one angle that equals to 90 degrees. So whenever you have a right triangle, you can implement the Pythagorean theorem in that triangle. So if you focus on the right triangle FEC, this right triangle, According to the Pythagorean theorem, the square of the hypotenuse equals to the sum of the squares of the perpendiculars. That is to say, FC square equals to EF square plus EC square. Again, in the right triangle, triangle EFC, FC square equals to EF square plus EC square. Okay, but we know that FC equals to AC. AC equals to FC, it is given us in the question. So we can substitute FC in the equality by AC because AC equals to FC. Okay, we have this equality that states that FC square equals to EF square plus C AC square, but AC equals to FC, so we can substitute FC by AC on this equality. 
So we will get that AC square equals to EF square plus EC square. Okay. And uh, on the right, the green right triangle, triangle ABC, we also can implement the Pythagorean theorem that states that the square of the hypotenuse, uh, uh, that is AC square, equals to the sum of the squares of the perpendiculars equals to AT square plus DC square. Okay? In the right triangle, AC square, the square of the hypotenuse, the right green triangle equals to the sum of the squares of the perpendiculars equals to AD square plus DC, uh, plus DC square. The square of the hypotenuse AC square equals to AD square plus DC square. Okay? Uh, and we defined AD as A. So if AD equals to A, then DC also will be equal to A, and BC also will be equal to A, because all the sides of a square are equal to each other, and we defined ED as B, so if ED equals to B, then EF and FG and DG also will be equal to B, because, because all the sides of uh, a square are equal to each other, and uh, FG ED is a square. Okay? So, actually, uh, so in the right triangle, ADC, AC square equals to AD square plus DC square, but we know that AD equals to DC equals to BC equals to AB equals to A. All the sides of a square are equal to each other, so we can substitute AD by A and DC by A. So we will get that AC square equals to A square plus A square. So AC square equals to two, two, two times uh, A square. Okay. So we know that AC square equals to two times A square. And we have the first equality the first equality that states that FC square equals to EF square plus EC square, we know that FC equals to AC, we substituted AC, FC by AC because FC equals to AC. So we got that AC square equals to EF square plus EC square. Okay, so I copied this equality to here. AC square equals to EF square plus EC square. But we found out that AC square, we have already found out that AC square equals to 2A square. Okay, so we can substitute AC square of this equality by 2 times A square because they are equal to each other. So we will get that AC square that equals to 2A square equals to EF square. EF equals to B, so EF square is B square. And EC square, EC equals to B plus A, so EC square is B plus A square. Okay, EC square is B plus A square. So we opened the brackets here. B plus A square is B square plus A square plus 2 times AB. So in total we got that 2 times A square equals to B square plus B square plus A square plus 2 times AB. Here we substituted A square for this equation. So 2 times A square minus A square is A square. And B square plus B square is 2B square and a square minus a square is zero, so a square is cancelled, and we left with two times a b. So in total we got that a square equals to two b square plus two times a b. Here we substituted two times a b from this equality, so we got that a square minus two times a b equals to two b square. Okay, and we substituted two b square from this 
equality we got that a square minus 2 times b a minus 2 times b square equals to 0 ok so here we relate to a as a variable and to b as a constant and uh, we have a general formula for a quadratic equation if we have a quadratic equation of a times x square plus b times x plus c equals to zero then the solution to this quadratic equation when x is the variable is this solution x equals to minus b plus minus root of b square minus 2 times ac over 2a so we can use this formula in order to solve our specific quadratic equation so in this quadratic equation we know that capital A equals to 1 capital B equals to minus 2B and capital C equals to minus 2B square capital C equals to minus 2B square ok so we have this and actually the variable here in this our quadratic equation is a a is the variable so a x equals to a x equals to a so we use this equality in order to solve our specific quadratic equation this is a, a general solution for any quadratic equation so we can use this equality in order to solve our specific quadratic equation when we have already found out the values of capital A, capital B and capital C and we know that X is the variable of our quadratic equation so X equals to A so X will substitute X by A equals to minus b minus b is minus minus 2b minus minus 2b is plus 2b plus minus root of b square b equals to minus 2b so b square is minus 2b square minus 4 times a times c so it is minus 4 times a is 1 and c is minus 2b squared so it is 4 times 1 minus 2b squared ok here we have minus 4 times minus 2 is 8 ok so actually we we get that a equals to minus times minus is plus so a equals to 2b plus minus minus 2b square is 4b square and minus 4 times minus 2 is 4 so here we will get 4b square plus 8b square again minus times minus is plus so minus 4 times minus 2 is minus 8 so in total we will get there uh, 8b square so we got that a equals to 2b plus minus 4b square plus 8b square or a equals to 2b plus minus 4b square plus 8b square is 12b square and 12 equals to 4 times 3 and we can take out of the root uh, the root of 4 is 2 so instead of root of 4 we can write here 2 and in, inside the root we, what is left is only 3b square ok so a equals to 2b plus minus 2 times root 3b square over 2 so here we can uh, cancel 2 because we have 
two in the numerator and two in the denominator, so we can cancel two. And we will get that A equals to B plus minus root three B because two is cancelled. So we have two solutions. Either A could be equal to B plus root three B or a can be equal to a uh, to b minus root 3b, but this is incorrect answer because a cannot be a negative number because a is the side of a square and the side of a square is always positive number, so here as you can see a equals to b times negative number b is positive times negative will be negative so we will get that a equals to negative number and because it, it is a side of a square it can never be a negative number so this is incorrect answer a must be a positive number so the only answer that we have left if it is that A equals to B plus root 3B. Here we took a common factor B, we took out a common factor B out of this expression, and inside the brackets we left with 1 plus root 3. We squared this equality, and we will got that A square equals to B square plus 1 plus root 3 square. And we have already know that the area of the small square equals to 8 square units. So actually the area of any square is the, the multiplication of its sides. B times B equals to the area of this square that is 8 square units. So we know that B square equals to 8 square units, so we can substitute b square in this equality by 8 because b square equals to 8 square units. So we substituted b square by 8 and uh, we got that a square equals to 8 times 4 plus 2 times root 3. 4 times 8 times 4 is 32 and 8 times 2 is 16, so in total we got that a square, a square is the area of the green square, because a times a is the area of the green square, so a square equals to 32 plus 16 times root 3 square units, or in terms of numbers, the area of the green square equals to 59.713 square units, okay? Thank you very much.